Holy crap, um, I don't know what's come over me today. Um, me and Belle went out on Friday night for a couple of beers for my birthday, um, 1041. And uh, Belle finally opened up and we talked about Chambers. And um, I came home, cut a promo about that. And a couple of days later, I looked at it and realized I'd filmed it in time lapse. Well done, Stephen. So I refilmed it um, and still used the time lapse. Uh, incorporated that into the mistake um went to work saturday full band in the shop and then me and matt went over to whitley bay matt played live there matt fairly keep me so many mats um you know i went to work yesterday i went out for a few beers last night i was like right okay could probably do some editing get some editing in um, the only thing on my computer to do is searching for chambers. Um, at that point, um, there was like a raw outline. There was the additional add-ins, which was like 25 minutes. Then the intro, they were all separate. Um, all in the, it's sort of need putting together and not together. And, you know, I went out and got pretty wasted. And I thought, you know, just enjoying it, you go over the floor, you know, and um, just done there. Yeah, uh, I got up this morning and uh, me punishment jobs because now if I have a few beers, I always set myself a goal to do around the house specifically, and whether it's paint a wall or do the the nasty clean of the stairs or some shit like that, you know. But this morning was to um, cut the front grass, paint the fence and then get the fucking break out and iron brush and get the path a little bit cleaner because a lot of moss there went out there just went for it did it all looks completely different proud of myself for doing that wasn't even 12 o'clock came back in changed the bed moved some stuff around did me washing put me washing away cooked me dinner fed the dog walked the dog posted um packages to a dan in texas and want to rob Two packages that have been lying around. I mean, a Dan's has been lying around for over a year. It's just been a handful of DVDs of the two Corys that I've got multiple copies of. They've just been lying around. Went to the shop, posted them, cost us 40 quid. <laughs> um, but, you know, I um, came back, did a bit more cleaning around the house. And I thought, do I come up here and sit and do some editing? Because, again, I thought, where's my hangover at? You know, and um, I'm watching Sloan films, I've watched Lords of the Flatbush, what the fuck, I've watched um, Avenging Alan Gelino. what the fuck, I've watched Escape for Victory, quite over it, sorry, and then I've just watched season two of The Young Ones, it's now just gone midnight, um, I've sat here, well, I've sat here for a long time, I shut the computer down, let it rest, had me tea and I've come back up, but I started with searching for chambers and I started bringing in the additional stuff into it, into the production and then drag it in, save it, watching a film and then went back, double checked it, trimmed it, put it in, then brought the intro in and I went, you know what, we're ready for a final cut and this is project's been going on for a year, like a full year, I, I mean I'm watching this in the background like I'm talking now and like there's bits where Lincoln's artwork isn't even there the fucking never ending fucking creepy wolf things not there it's like and you're looking around and then i'm looking at the video and i'm going hey i'm wearing the same pants i am 10 years earlier than uh, just like little things but you can see that a whole year has passed which is quite a cool considering how much i film and um i started at the start i started taking notes going right started digitally adding the credits in clicking through, going through, making notes, taking notes, making better of the old credits and obviously uh, adding Matt's song, uh, Take Me With You Into It, adding Condog in, adding um, the outro and I went holy shit, like I was thinking this is going to be months and months down the line, like I would even be starting to talk about years film, it's fucking done, it's rendered, it's there, it's just been backed up there, now I can start going right start shutting shit down it's done it's separate it's you know i'm like holy fuck 
Um, I just... Fucking get on. Thank you, Mark. Because it's been a total, it's been a total drive today. Um, I'm over the moon work. Just can't wait to watch it in full. I take some notes. There might be some stuff to change. Stuff sometimes doesn't render as good as it should. You know, um, I've watched it. As I said, the young ones. I think three, four episodes. Of the young ones played while I was mastering. And you're watching it in slow-mo, it's, it's frame by frame, and then the font comes up. And I think one of the biggest problems I've had with the production is as well, you got like the high def style of it, and then it jumps to like obviously tape, um, the small mini TV footage, um, but then there's all the, the weird files from either Mark's phone or my phone or Apple's converted into that or Huawei stuff. And obviously it comes down and uh, the files all different. I think there's about 250 clips. Wow. Machine mode. I've got six days of work now after the mile. I did a random video a few weeks back with candles and it appears at the very end of Mark's video. And I think that was me then trying to like say, right, Mark's video needs to come to an end. Um, I need to start really taking it on the head. And I ended up waffling away, like kind of knowing what I was wanting to do. And I think what I was trying to say is what I wanted to say now. I, for the first time, have got nothing to edit. There's a file with ideas of all stuff I found. I found a couple of clips yesterday. I thought that would be interesting to develop. But I've got nothing overhanging. Um, about three or four videos behind on YouTube to come out, which is healthy. They're all good content. Um, and I just find myself just going, right, okay, cool. Beast mode activated. See you in the outtakes. And now we rest. So